Over the month of January, we have been journeying together, seeking to rediscover friendship with God and seek to rediscover the unique plan that God has for each and every one of us. Our prayer over this month of January has been for an authentic reawakening of faith. A reawakening of faith in our personal lives as disciples of Jesus, as people who sit at his feet learning from him, as well as a reawakening of faith in the life of our parish and her mission into the society in which we live. Such a reawakening of faith, both on a personal level and on the level of our parish, is what will enable us to be true witnesses of the resurrection. It is this reawakening of faith which will establish a culture of encounter that will reach out and draw people for themselves to have that encountering relationship. Our gospel readings over this month of January have taken us all the way back to those beginnings of our faith journey, to those fundamental building blocks, we could say, even the very moment of our baptism, the starting point on our journey of faith. In our Gospel reading last week, recalling the incident of the transformation of water into wine at the wedding feast in Cana, we very briefly paused at those servants, those servants who played such an important role in the miracle taking place. Upon Jesus' request to, that they rolled up their sleeves and got stuck in, filling those stone water jars as he requested, to the full. Those servants provided the appropriate environment for Jesus to manifest his glory and for his disciples to then believe in him, St. John's Gospel tells us. The cooperation in Christ of those servants at the wedding feast is what made the miracle happen not just in a small amount, but in a total abundance. And so we move on now from last week's gospel to this week's. And we could say that the question now becomes for us, well, what about us? How do we respond to Jesus' personal invitation to us, for us to roll up our sleeves and get stuck in, in the mission of the church? How do we respond? How do we make time amongst the busyness of our lives to discover the plan that God has for us? How, indeed, are we equipped ourselves for mission to go out, to shine out into the world? some big questions that this gospel prompts us to reflect upon. Or perhaps a more pressing question could be one which precedes all of these other questions. What right do I even have to possibly offer myself in service to building up the body of Christ on earth? And so today's gospel penetrates into the very heart of all of these questions. Today's gospel shows us that we are not merely to be spectators at the side of the field, but rather to be in the scrum, right in the middle of it, to be God's chosen instruments of proclamation and encounter. And here I'd like to quote my favorite saint in the world, Saint Teresa of Avila. Christ has no body now but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Surely this has got to mean something to us. 
And so today's gospel offers us that anchor upon which we can truly seek to rediscover our relationship with Almighty God and how, we begin, and how this relationship with Almighty God can begin to move us forward as disciples and as witnesses to the resurrection, how we can truly be Christ's body, Christ's hands, Christ's feet. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favour. Jesus' choice of scripture reading from the prophet Isaiah about himself and about his mission which he is about to undertake shows us, doesn't it, that his eyes, even from the very start, were always turned outwards into the world, never looked inwards on the self. And so this gospel reveals to each and every one of us that we are all equipped, all of us, with the tools to proclaim the good news through our anointing with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me. We are indeed his body, his hands, his feet. To remain at the sideline, to remain at an arm's length perhaps, or to perhaps be afraid or unsure about how to roll up our sleeves means not really being able to live our lives to the full. As we place ourselves into the hands of Almighty God and seek to discover the life that we were truly made for, let us do so together in the Holy Spirit. I invite you today to, as you take the newsletters home with you, to take some time during the week to pray this gospel reading again by yourselves. To hear Jesus proclaim to you personally that invitation to mission. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me. As you sit with this close to your heart over this week, I wonder how the Holy Spirit will prompt you. What, holy, what inspirations the Holy Spirit will reveal to you? What ways will be revealed so that you can offer yourselves to proclaim the Lord's year of favour? Amen.